Hi, collective friends. Sandra from For Your Chi, here to do your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for March 20th through March 26th of 2023. Thanks for being here with me. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay. So, in this week, for Monday and Tuesday, I'm starting to record April's readings, by the way, for the Zodiac, so look for those soon for me to post here on YouTube. Monday, Tuesday, material and spiritual prosperity. Well, the week is starting out a lot better than we expected, especially with the card that we had in the previous weekend. You're being told to go forward fearlessly with whatever opportunities, offers are being um, presented to you. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to involve some networking, talking to people, reaching out to people, and getting positive feedback or um, hopeful uh, messages as a result of that. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, Three of Cups, this is traditionally the celebration card. You know, for some, those of you that are dealing with romantic issues, sometimes readers um, discuss that this card is talking about a possible third party situation, but that's not for everyone. Typically, this is a happy card. You could get invited to dinner, drinks, lunch out. You know, there could be some sort of um, social gathering that you are attending or that you should attend. What is the advice, though? Spend more time outdoors. Perhaps you've been cooped up for too long, and it's time to finally get out there. Here, I'm just going to show you the prayer on this card, if the camera will focus, for those of you that want that. So um, spend a few, just even a few minutes outdoors each day will help to help your body, help your energy. But here we have the death card here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We just couldn't have an easy week, right? Cancel, clear, delete that. But whatever's happening um, this weekend, whatever's ending for you, relationships, situationships, and for some of you, this could be, I'm hearing this could be a friendship. Um, with the advice card, I went right to Archangel Michael when I saw that card, when I saw the death card. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Okay, so it appears that whatever is happening is happening very rapidly. And that while some of you could interpret this week as go and then stop. I actually think for most of you, this is going to be a different subject matter that you're dealing with on the weekend and that something is being taken away because something else is about to replace it. And that could be why you are being, um, sort of prodded here to reach out, to commingle, to socialize, because you just never know who you might meet, who, what friend may introduce you to another friend that may introduce you to a circumstance that may end up replacing this, what is fixing to exit. I went to the answers for the angels from the angels deck for this weekend. They are saying that there's no need to worry. So we have to trust those messages, um, especially when I pull them from this deck. So there's no need to worry. However, you know, you are being guided to ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation at the time of the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this, this coming weekend. Now, I was also reminded just a moment ago to discuss, um, and I wanted to look up the date. I'll say it in the next video, whatever video I ha that happens to be, if it's a Zodiac or if it's a weekly reading for next week. To check out the eclipse dates, because I know that we have at least one coming in April. So therefore, we are in eclipse energy um, where we hear more of this type of thing that's happening. It's just the way that it works. Eclipses bring endings, which brings new beginnings for many people. 
especially if there's a situationship or relationship that you have been unhappy in, you know, for some time, that's when eclipses tend to bring the most change to those people, you know, who have been living a life that is no longer working for them. And then they just continue on each day thinking that they can keep on doing the same old thing. And that is not the case. The universe will take that situation away because that situation is no, it's not making you happy any longer. And this just happened to a close friend of mine with regard to a job situation. And I hear it happening all over. It's not just that one particular situation, but for those people who are afraid of big changes, the universe changes for you because otherwise you wouldn't move and puts you in a place that you're supposed to be at the right place and at the right time with the right people, etc. I think you get the point. Many blessings to all of you. Thanks for watching. Take care.